It works. I'm gonna tell it to you straight. I have a terrible time getting up for work in the morning. It's a problem that's really plagued me throughout my entire life, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a technical solution that I came up with. In the conceptualization of this project, I thought about what really wakes me up in the morning, and that's when I go to the gym. So why not start off my day by getting my heart rate up? And to ensure that I'm gonna get my heart rate up, I need to be able to measure it, which is where the first device that I purchased came in. It's a small little Arduino compatible heart rate and O2 sensor, and obviously I wanted a way to display my heart rate without having to use my computer which is why I bought this little 32 by 128 OLED screen. I got part of it done. However, I did not learn my lesson. I bought another cheap thing and this thing is completely broken. Dead on arrival, damn it. And I wrecked my room for nothing. Attempt the number two. It works. On this little OLED, it says, please place your finger. Place my finger. I'm dead. Oh. If you hold your finger wrong, it doesn't quite go right. But yeah, it looks about right. Around 60. 60 beats per minute. Sweet. Next up, I'm going to put it in this. Okay, this looks dangerous. And I haven't turned this thing on yet, so none of these high voltage capacitors are like gonna mess with me or anything. I hope. It's fine. Okay, so it just falls up. Oh, cool. On this board, these two are five volts. They run off of this board. So I can just run my whole little Arduino off of these two. Because it doesn't draw like any current, so it's good. It's good. I'm only gonna put like half of these back. Eee. So I'm not gonna touch any of these. I could run this to the snooze and then just turn it off later, but that's not... Uh, I don't want to give myself a backup. Like even if I want to cheat it, I, I still want to make it work. So I'm... I'm gonna run it to the off and on. So I just need to make this a switch. So it's either, but these aren't, they are? What? These are connected together. I kinda wanna plug this thing in, but I don't want it to shock me. Or I could be smart and just run this off of five volts. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Jeez. Freak me out. Okay, well, it's shoddily put together. Remember my toilet video when I said that kind of looked like a bomb? Uh, I think this might top it. This circuit for the alarm to be on is actually normally open. So when you switch it on, on this deal, it would be pushed forward to be on therefore these two contacts will be touching and when I touch them together with my little tweezers it makes the little alarm light come on so I needed to figure that out because I was unsure of how to get this to all connect now I can program this so when my heart rate gets above a certain level the Arduino will open these contacts and turn the alarm off because that's the only other way okay so heart rate up break the connection and alarm goes off so shouldn't be too hard sweet my plan is to connect this little relay that's going to live inside of this somehow to those pads and i don't know if there's room to stick it on top of the button so just to add some extra insurance that i'm not going to turn it off prematurely i'll remove the button <laughs> to put this on so i'm just gonna solder some leads onto this and then i'll try to put all of this back together I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I soldered this one. I need this one. Ugh, dang it. Ah. 
I was hoping that there'd be somewhere to stick the fingerprint sensor, maybe? <gasps> yeah, maybe if I could mock it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would look good if I put this right here. Ah, if it could cover that hole, that would be perfect. The on off. Like, look at that. That would be sick if I could stick it somehow right there. I think the limiting factor is going to be how it fits in with this board. So I can cut out some of this inside plastic to make it easier and maybe see if I can squeeze it in right there. So I'm trying to get this to where I can go through this hole. It's going to hit this circuit board. So I think I can cut out part of the circuit board and then it'll just line up perfect. Ah, I just cracked the whole circuit board. No, little bites, little, little bites. Oh, no, I just cracked the whole thing. Uh, I gotta stop. <laughs> mm, hold yourself together. Yeah, so I'm stupid and I accidentally cracked this board. So I'm scratching away very lightly at where the runs are on the board. And then I'm just gonna try to solder this together because it's just this one and this one, they got messed up and that's it. Press the alarm button. Hey, it works. And also if I touch these two cables together, it should make the little red light come on and it does. Now I just need to add the little monitor to the top. Ta-da. Cool. It's not perfectly centered, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Intermittently, as I put this back together, make sure that none of the wires got messed up or the board cracked even more it's good and then all the buttons on the front of this Oops. work while i was looking at all this stuff the negative terminal on the battery popped off so i'm gonna put that back on real quick It's working and doesn't it look nice that looks freaking sick these two are five volts these are for the on off button and that is a whole jumble so i'm gonna put some tape on these label them so i don't forget what's what now i just need to upload the code into this that's actually gonna make it turn off the alarm it takes a second to read my average beats per minute and if it's above a certain amount whatever i set it at it clicks over the relay today I proved that the whole thing can work. Now I just need to set the heart rate at an elevated heart rate from my base. So instead of putting it at 50 or 60, I'll put it in the 70, 80 range. I'll work out and see if I can get it to click over then. I gotta get my heart rate up. Okay, I've got my heart rate elevated a little bit. Let's see if it reads it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it works. Hell yeah. Ah, it works. I should have shown this one first, but I'm gonna give myself a few minutes for my heart rate to come down and then show you that I can't trigger the device if my heart rate is too low. All right, well, this should be easy to show. I'm just gonna set the alarm. Yeah, my heart rate's too low. That's the cheat. That's the cheat button. It's just hitting the reset on the Arduino. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cover that up, and then also disable the snooze button. Which I mean, I can snooze it, but it won't stop the alarm. So the alarm will keep going no matter what. I've got my new alarm clock, and it totally doesn't look dangerous at all. I'm just gonna set the time, go to bed, and see how it works out. It works. And that's it everybody. The project works. I have yet to sleep in since using it, even though it's mildly infuriating when I wake up, knowing that I have to look forward to doing jumping jacks or running in place or push ups For those of you that made it all the way to the end, I very much appreciate you checking out my smaller channel. Uh, it's slowly growing, so 
If you're a new subscriber, what's up? Drop a comment. I promise I'll heart it and comment back. And yeah, if you like it, subscribe. I'll make more content like this and uh, check out some of my other videos. I will see all of y'all in the next one. Thanks.